arrest in the Young Dolph murder case. In fact, we have exclusive video of Jamarcus Johnson being taken into the Shelby County Jail. He's now the fourth person accused in the assassination plot. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Daryl Green. Fox 13's Dominique Dillon is live at 201 Poplar right now. In fact, she was the only reporter there when Johnson was let in in handcuffs. Dominique. Yes, over an hour ago, we watched Jermarcus Johnson get taken out of an unmarked SUV. Then we watched the gang unit walk him into 201 Poplar. Earlier this afternoon, Memphis police posted Johnson was wanted for conspiracy to commit first degree murder in the killing of young Dolph one year ago. Sources tell Fox 13 News Johnson surrendered a few hours later, proclaiming his innocence. Our sources also tell us Jermarcus Johnson is the half brother of Justin Johnson, who is already in jail charged in young Dolph's murder. What we're still working to learn is Jermarcus Johnson's alleged role in the killing. The other three people charged in the case are all accused of murder, attempted murder, and conspiracy. Police have only listed a conspiracy charge against Jermarcus Johnson thus far. That could indicate they don't believe he played an active role in the killing, but allegedly assisted in the planning. We checked Jermarcus Johnson's criminal record, but couldn't find any previous cases here in Shelby County. But again, tonight, Jermarcus Johnson is here at 201 Poplar facing a conspiracy charge in Young Dolph's murder. That arrest coming just a year after Young Dolph was gunned down. Back to you. That is Fox 13's Dominique Dillon. Thank you, Dominique. We'll see you later in the newscast. Meanwhile, several other people are also charged in connection to the murder of Dolph. Hernandez Govan is charged with planning the murder. He was in court yesterday. He pled not guilty to all of the charges against him. Justin Johnson and Cornelia Smith are both charged with first degree murder. And this man, Shundale Barnett, is charged with accessory after the fact. There is a first degree murder warrant out for his arrest. Barnett was arrested with Justin Johnson earlier this year in Indiana, but he was later released and they haven't been able to find him since. What's up, all workers? It's your boy Frankie, all work, and I'm super duper back with another one, y'all. Real quick, y'all, real quick. I'm going to need y'all to do me one quick favor. I'm going to need y'all to hit that bell or subscribe button, right? Then when you hit that subscribe button, I'm going to need y'all to hit that bell button so you get all my notifications, like the one I'm about to drop right now. And yes, y'all, we at 15,000. We over 15,000. We going further and further, y'all. appreciate it, y'all. Keep sharing this content. Keep subscribing to it, y'all. And let's keep it moving. So look, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but this case looking weirder and weirder to me as we go along. I really don't think they know what the hell they're doing, y'all. I'm going to just keep it a buck. I really don't believe that they know what the hell they're doing. I think they just, I think now, which I already been think, that they were snitching already from the rip. That's why old boy was ready to get up out of there a couple weeks ago, Justin Johnson. He was trying to get up out of there like two weeks ago, but I think he's still there because he's saying he was worried about this and worried about that. Now, allegedly, we see why. His brother, uh, what is his name? Jam uh, his name is Marcus uh, Johnson. Demarcus Johnson. That's his half-brother. But in the hood, you know we don't call each other half-brother, half-sister. That's his sister. I mean, that's his brother. And you know, half-nothing. That's your brother. But his brother, I don't know if he's older or younger, but he look a little older. But his brother is also caught up in this situation now. This is why I call Cap on this whole situation. Because let's let's talk about this. It's been a year. Yesterday, the 17th, it was the year when Dolph uh, murder happened. It was a year. I think it was the 17th or the 18th or the 19th. But it's been a year pretty much since this happened. And now all of a sudden they got two more new suspects like two, three days before it's been a year. I'm calling cap on this situation, man. I'm calling cap on this situation because look at this. Like I said from the rip. As soon as they called this dude name, as soon as they said they had him as a suspect, two hours later, he turned himself smooth in, proclaiming his innocence. And then the charge that they got him with, they got him a conspiracy. Now he's saying that he planned the murder as well. So do you think Hernandez Govin told on him? Do you believe that? It's possibly true. When you look at that video, old boy looked hella nervous in there. Who wouldn't look nervous in there? You in there for a high-profile murder. But this situation is just it's kind of suspect to me because on the real, I believe they don't know what's going on. 
I believe that they just really trying to just get somebody to snitch, just like this young thug case. I believe they just just putting things out there and just locking up anybody and just hoping they talk. Because like I said, how a whole year later, how a whole year later, now you got two new suspects. Yo, I did a story. I was doing the stories on these. Like, they was catching them suspects from the rip. And then the last person they showed, Shondell, I did a story on him as well. They can't even find him. They can't even find this dude. Like, this whole, honestly, I think they're going to mess this case up, you ask me, yo. I'm not going to lie. I think they're going to blow the whole case. Real talk. I think I think they're going to blow the whole case because, to me, it looked like they don't know what the hell going on. It really don't. Because if it, if it was that serious, they'd be on and popping with this. Now, they trying to, I don't know if they're trying to put all of them together as this whole like this whole case. They just going, even though they have different lawyers, I don't know how they're trying to do this case. But honestly, I hope they don't. But they're going to fumble this. They're going to fumble this. Let me know how y'all feel about it. It's your boy, Frankie Hard Work. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this video. Let me know in the comments how y'all feel, y'all. Easy.